with this I'm keeping secrets in my head For any space you can find Glad to see that I can help Make your life a bit easier But have you ever thought of how I felt? You need to think about your behavior Yes, it's time for another edition of Butch on Sports. Simply Butch here. And as always, thanks for tuning in, boys and girls. Abbreviated version of Butch on Sports tonight here as uh, a lot of hockey's being had on television. Yes, but though we do have some local teams who have had doing a little bit of participating there. We'll get to that in a moment here. Again, thanks for tuning in. Oh, boy. Just, just, just thanks for tuning in. Cut off the music. Get to the the real nitty gritty, which is yes, those scores that you can't get enough of here. Detroit Tigers played this evening here, boys and girls. They played the Cleveland Indians, and by golly, they uh, got swept. Today's score is uh, juicy, nine to three. Cleveland winning. Detroit just not hitting, and when they're hitting. They're not knocking men in base or knocking men in to score. And some of the batting average here are just totally ridiculous here. But you know, and I'm gonna read the starting lineup today. Martin, he started, he has a two ninety-five batting average. But here's the goodies here, boys and girls. Clinton Laros, two hundred batting average, playing third base. Cabrera playing first base, two twenty seven. Of course Cabrera has done his job, but again, being hot and uh Hitting the situation as uh, far as knocking in runs, not doing a pretty good job there. You know, uh, knocking into a couple double plays. At least I've seen so far. Could be more. Goodrin, 208. Castellanos, halfway decent uh, batting average of 286. You can tell. Hopefully, he'll be a force this year and be very consistent in knocking in runs. No home runs. I think that lie back one home run so far here. This season, Victor Martinez, 235. Hicks, 111. Jacoby Jones, 231. Iglesias, a juicy 57. Mercado, 233. That's going to get you a whole lot of wins, huh, boys and girls? No, it's not. However, Detroit Tigers said, and the manager, Ron Gartenheimer, made some moves here. Mickey Montuz, another outfielder, got sent down to AAA following the 5-1 to one loss on Wednesday night. Ron Gartenheimer said in his correspondence here, he's not playing well, and we want him to be hitting. So Montuz told the reporter, after going no hits in three at-bats on Wednesday night, he's going down there to work on the swing and be back quick. We'll see, boys and girls here. Jordan Zimmerman, by the way, says he feels all right. He said after the game against uh, Cleveland Indians, after he got knocked the crap out of him in the face in the first inning, not even warmed up right, uh, <clears throat> said that uh, he claimed that his broken jaw was not that bad because he had some repair work done on his jaw when he got hit in the first time in 2007. Yes, according to Zimmerman on uh, Wednesday night, he got a couple of plates in his jaw. And that was saved him. He says he's not going to miss a, a start. You know, I bet against that. I think he'll miss at least one start for the Detroit Tigers. We'll see. Down the road a piece. Tigers, by the way, they uh, come back to Comerica Park for a 10-game homestand starting Friday, April the 13th, running through the 22nd of April. New York Yankees in town for three, yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday's game, 7-10. Baltimore Orioles that come on in town, two uh, games that uh, that starts Tuesday, by the way. Okay, 6-40 is the starting time, new starting time. Instead of 7-10 or, or 
some of the old times that he played a little earlier due to, I guess, warm weather or in climate weather. Normally at night it's cold as I don't know what. Tigers haven't had a break in uh, weather is concerned. Average temperature 37 degrees. The warmth is just getting to Cleveland as we today in city of Detroit, metropolitan area, where I live at 76 degrees today. And a lot of people were out. Speaking, I say some more here. Baltimore will uh, will be in town for that, and also that afternoon game on Thursday. Followed by the Royals, they'll have a split doubleheader on Friday. One at one ten, the other one seven ten. Followed by two afternoon games on Saturday and Sunday at one ten p.m. Okay, alrighty now. And by the way, uh, we wish uh, the best of luck in. Uh, uh, to Chris Bazio, he has some health issues right now. He's not going to be the coach or pitching coach for the Detroit Tigers for a few weeks due to an undisclosed health issue. Bazio went some tests Tuesday. The doctors recommended that he take some time off to rest. So we wish him well in getting back to normal here or as close to it as he can. Detroit Lions announced on Wednesday that their preseason goodies here. First week, they'll be in Oakland to play the Oakland Raiders here on the West Coast. That's about 10 o'clock time or something like that there to play that game. Second week, they'll be home playing the Giants. I'm quite sure around about 7 o'clock Detroit time they'll be playing that game. Uh, looks like on the weekend, uh, the uh, 24th, Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. That game will be on nationally on CBS. So don't be looking at no other Channel 50 and all these other, other stations right now, Channel 2, where they normally do it on a local tip there. CBS will be doing the game. And the fourth preseason game will be Cleveland coming into town, and there you have it there. They'll be playing regular season games at home against the Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, Carolina Panthers, Los Angeles Rams, New York, England Patriots. That ought to be a goodie here. New York Jets and the Seattle Seahawks will be in town in Detroit this upcoming 2018 season. Finally, boys and girls here, we talk about some hockey here. Right now, the Avalanches and the Predators are having at it. Avalanches is leading the Predators in the Predators' house. That's going one to nothing. Ducks and Sharks will be getting after it. Matter of fact, they have just started. No score there. Lightning and the Devil there. Lightning was winning at last time I looked at three to two. Boston, well, they they handled the Maple Leafs very well, five to one, and the Capitals were leading uh, the Blue Jackets two to one. That could be changing anytime. They're still playing. No final on that one either. I cleaned it up for you very well, very well indeed. Detroit Pistons uh, will be cleaning out their lockers tomorrow. Stan Van Gundy told media people on Wednesday after the victory in Chicago that he's going to take him about 10 days to go and eat, drink, and be merry and relax before he come back to work or find out that he got a meeting upcoming, which... Tom Gorse has promised they need to sit on down. Some changes need to be made. We'll see what happens with that. If it's going to be public or private, I don't know. But 10 days right now, Van Gundy made personal and not private but public. He's going to get him to rest before he comes back to work and do anything. He's still the president, general manager, and head coach of the Detroit Pistons. Until we hear otherwise. Definitely. I'm done here, boys and girls. I'm done for today in this abbreviated version of Butch on Sports. <sighs> Don't have no Red Wings. Uh, they're already packed up and gone. Hey. But we'll find something. We'll find something indeed. Well, I tell you. Butch on Sports. It's a presentation of Oh My Darling Productions. I want to remind you that, yes, indeed, you can hear Butch on Sports on Facebook, always on Facebook. Go to the page, Butch on Sports Facebook. You can do it. You can hear the show, Butch on Sports podcast version there. You can also get it on iTunes, boys and girls, off the Apple iTunes store. And also, go to Podomatic, type in S-I-M-P-L-Y-B-U-T-C-H-T-O-O. 
DocPodomatic.com. Also on Podbean, as far as the extravaganzas of shows, including Scott Nason, yes, and Dave McKay, and EJ Russell, with some exciting shows there. Uh, Sports Center, a show at Boston Market, and also uh, some good, good conversation at that, and up in Sault Ste. Marie. And also the the regular show on Monday, or maybe in, in lately here Tuesday, but well, we'll see. We'll let you know. Hey, I'm done. I'm done, boys and girls. Have a good day, good Friday. Again, Butch on Sports. This is a presentation of my darling productions. We'll be here from you after the game on Saturday morning.